Hello, so today I thought I would share with you some of the tips that I've learnt along the way from the, running my own small business for the last five years. So um, that's what I was going to talk to you about today. I have got five tips for you, five things that I wish that I'd known back then when I set up that I know now. Um, so I'm going to talk about those today. Uh, five years ago I started my business and I started it with no money and no support um, but plenty of determination and uh, over the years I've learned so much and um, that's why I'm going to share the five things with you today. So hello, for those that haven't met me, I am Zoe Thompson, I'm the founder of Refreshed Minds, I'm a confidence, fear and phobia specialist and I help people who are taking on new things and new ventures to to find their confidence and overcome their fears um, so that they can go on and achieve amazing things that they really want to achieve. This post is for you. Whether you're thinking about starting a new venture uh, or you've been in, in uh, you've owned a small business for, for a short time uh, and you're feeling a little lost um, or perhaps you're just frustrated and you're losing your confidence in yourself uh, or you're just apprehensive um, and want to make sure that you get things right. So any of those things, then then this is for you. So let's get started. So the first thing is to have the ability to edit your own website. Or if you're going to pay somebody to design your website, then uh, make sure that within the package there's either the training for you to be able to upload it yourself, or the uploads aren't going to cost you money um, although really to me that's kind of the last option. The reason that I say that is because over the last five years Refresh Minds has been through um, perhaps four kind of major changes and that's not to mention the countless times that I wanted to add something to a package or add a new freebie or change my prices or just change the layout or the pictures or things like that and if I had to contact somebody else and pay every single time that I wanted to make those changes then I would be a very frustrated um, and b it would be very costly so and I think as well it would have held me back from making some of the choices around changing some of the things in my business so I'm not saying that you don't pay for somebody to design your website if it's not your thing just make sure that it's part if you're going to do that that it's part of the package that either you get trained to edit it and most websites these days aren't very difficult to edit or that there's no cost to those edits or, or you know it's a it's a minimum cost or something like that so the second one, um, my second piece of advice is to start with the customer and not with your products and I fell into this one massively. So at the beginning I spent all the very little money that I had on creating some brilliant packages and uh, doing a website and a leaflet and uh, paying for stalls to promote my amazing new business and my amazing new packages just to find out that what I'd created wasn't actually what the customer wanted. Um, so when I say start with the customer, I don't just mean thinking about who your customer might be, that's really important, but I mean really getting to know them. You need to be able to talk their language, you need to be able to solve their challenges, you need to be um, solving them in a way that they will really absolutely love. You need to know where they are, you need to know what they're doing, you need to know what would be the perfect solution for them and then that's what you build, not what you think will be amazing. My third tip is to prepare yourself for the long game. So I can't count the amount of people who have opened the doors or think that they're going to open the doors and suddenly people are going to flood into their business. They go to a couple of networking meetings and then they get really frustrated because they're not being offered any work. Um, and you have to work your absolute backside off for four to six months consistently in order for that hard work to begin paying off and if you're brand new to small business uh, and setting up your business then make that six to twelve months easily so at the beginning I found that part of, of small business really soul destroying um, I worked super duper hard and I literally got nothing zip diddly squat and it just 
you start to lose your confidence and you think about giving up and you think that it's never going to happen and that that you're trying your 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 hardest and you're just not hitting the mark or doing everything wrong um so my third tip is that that four to six months window is absolutely normal uh, and you need to prepare yourself for that long game every time that you start something new you have to be doing it consistently for four to six months before you'll start seeing the, the, the results, the payback of that work. So just be prepared for that so that you, you, you don't get annoyed with it. Um, and that leads me nicely on to my fourth point, which is to have strategies to top up your determination and your motivation. So determination and motivation, you, you don't have endless amounts of these things. And when the the work that is required to build a new business requires a lot of determination and a lot of motivation so it drains those things very quickly so in my experience you kind of start out of the gate like a racing horse kind of going at everything and really really excited but that just doesn't last so long um, and that reflects in point three um, that effort and that sustainable effort that's required so you absolutely need to take care of yourself and top up your motivation and your your determination. Top up that kind of good stuff regularly. And that's even more regularly than when you were employed, if you were employed before. Because there's just you um, and only you. And without you and without your drive and your determination and your motivation, then there is no business. So don't expect yourself to have this kind of endless amount of energy, motivation, uh, positiveness and determination. That needs care and it needs nurture and it needs attention to keep it topped up. And on that point, I will be uh, sharing a little freebie with you in a little while that will help you with that. So uh, moving on, point five, get help. Ask, hire, network and talk. I absolutely missed the gate on this one. When I started out in my business, I was a one woman against the world, taking over the world, I can do this, watch me, kind of business owner. Um, and I went to networking and I heard from people like the Chamber of Commerce and the FSB, which is Federation of Small Businesses. Um, but I thought, no, I can do this on my own. And I was absolutely stupid, utterly stupid. Uh, I missed out on so much support and grants and help and all this amazing stuff just because, I don't know, because I thought I could do it by myself. So there's lots and lots of support out there. So get yourself out there and don't be too proud to take it and to ask for it. Equally, uh, you don't know everything. Trust me, you can't do everything. I tried. So as a solopreneur, you have to have a team to bounce ideas off. Um, and you have to have people people around you. You don't have colleagues that you just nip to the canteen and have a, a download to them. Um, and as a business owner, those people aren't around all day. So you have to go out and you have to find them. You have to go networking. You have to find your tribe. You have to find your support. And then support each other and counsel each other. Nobody's an island, but you have to go out and find those people because unlike being employed in a job they're not just around all day and you need expertise from others and um, another one that I absolutely did it probably took me about four years before I started going whoa hang on a minute um, you know there's people out there that know this stuff and can really help me so it took me four years before I got myself a business coach um, and a business coach is absolutely priceless because you just can't see your own stuff um, and it takes someone else to sit and point it out and if you get a really good one then they can mean the difference between you sitting at home racking your brain over what you're doing and pulling your confidence apart to somebody kind of feeling like you, somebody's there that can that can support you and be part of it with you so they're absolutely priceless and equally there's lots of things that you need to do in order to be um, a successful business and there's people out there who are experts at it like building websites, like accounts, like marketing, like social media and all these kinds of things. And for me, if you want to have a successful business, then hire them if you can't do it. And if you don't have the money, and I appreciate that that's 
probably the biggest thing that held me back for those four years is me just saying, oh, I can't do that because I don't have the money. Then in which case, talk to those people, go network, find those people, ask their advice, go to their free webinars, get their free downloads and all that kind of stuff. Just really kind of reach out to people. There may be opportunities to kind of skill swap um, where you do something for them and they do something for you. But it's worth, rather than you thinking, oh my God, I need to do everything myself, kind of think, how can I best uh, get the expertise that I need? Um, and I got exhausted from trying to be everything and do everything. And it was only then that I went, hang on a minute, no, I need to go and reach up and, and reach out and ask for help. So you need to go and find a team. They are out there. Um, it's just incredibly different than being employed and having that team around you all the time. So you have to get out there and find them. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, uh, I have just the thing for you. I have created a little uh, rest and refresh audio um, and I'm, I'm offering that to you for free. Um, the reason for this is because being a small business owner is exhausting and it is tiring and sometimes you're just so frustrated and stressed and exhausted. Um, and back to kind of the point four that I shared earlier on, it's about topping up that determination and motivation. So it's only, it only lasts 10 minutes, but it's, um, it's a guided meditation and it's full of affirmations that really just top up your good stuff um, and kind of lift your mood. So if you want uh, that audio, then type free into the comments uh, on Facebook and underneath this video uh, and I'll deliver it straight to Facebook Messenger for you. Uh, and if you're watching this video on the blog, then there's a little um, sign-up option on the blog that you can go and put your details in uh, and I'll send it straight to your inbox. So if you do feel that that is something that could really help you, um, listen to it often, listen to it every day and just keep that good stuff nice and topped up. Um, so let me just uh, refresh those five points. So number one, websites. Make sure that you can edit them in whatever way, shape or form that may be. It's not going to cost you a fortune every time that you want to make an edit because you'll want to make loads. Um, number two, start with the customer, um, not with the products. It's not about you. Build something that the customer wants, not something that you think will be amazing. Number three, prepare yourself for the long game. It takes at least four to six months to get the results from something that you, you introduce, something that you do new. So prepare yourself for the long game. Leading nicely onto four, have strategies to top up that determination and motivation. And if you want that freebie, that 10 minute audio, just, just get it and listen to it often. And number five, get help, find a team, go out there, network, talk, hire people. Uh, you are not on your own and you don't have to be uh, trying to battle this whole piece by yourself. So that's it for today. I hope that you found that really helpful. Um, I'd love to hear your comments, so do uh, let me know your thoughts, your questions, your comments and all those kinds of things. Um, and I will speak to you again soon.